These are from a lawn tractor, and they're big and they're knobby, so we're going to make an off-road go-kart, one you can go over the grass and the gravel and up and down your driveway. Um, we wanted to use big wheels, so I went to the local uh, um, lawnmower repair place and I bought some wheels that are from a Sears lawn tractor, and they should work great, and I guess we'll find out how well they work. The only problem with them is that they're really not set up to be used with go-karts, so we're going to have to um, sort of adapt them. They have three-quarter inch, three-quarter inch um, uh, 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 shafts, so they're made to go on three-quarter inch shafts. So we're going to have to do some work to get these to, to work with our go-kart. You might not want to do all the little things that we have to do to get them to work. You might want to just go buy go-kart wheels right off the bat, but we got all four of these for $70, which I think is a really good. Um, deal. So let's start putting them out, okay? Let's put, let's make the back end of the go-kart over here. Rolling. Rolling. And like this. And like that. I think that fell off. Well, that's okay. It's probably pretty greasy. You can just leave it there. Rolling. All right, and then that one goes there. These don't stay These up. These don't stay up because they're rounded, whereas the back ones are flat. Oh, well. <laughs> That's the phone. We'll let the machine pick up. Here is our engine, and it is a beauty, I think. It's brand new. It's uh, six and a half horsepower. It's filled with gasoline. It's filled, oh yeah, there's some gasoline in here because we tested it when we got it. So when we weld around or near this thing, we gotta be super careful because there's gasoline in here and we probably shouldn't that weld it around back, it. it. We should probably bring the engine up. I got it. <laughs> We'll bring the engine up and fit it, and then we'll take it away and weld. So we probably don't want to have this engine around when we weld because of the fact that there is gas in the tank. Um, it's a six and a half horse engine. It's a Chinese version of, I believe, a Honda engine. And it's really very nice. Um, it's overhead valve, which makes it more powerful and efficient. It's six and a half, six and a half horsepower. Um, the thing about it is, that um, I think it was about $170, and I think the Honda engines cost about twice that much. So this is a really good deal. It has a 20 millimeter shaft, and that doesn't quite line up with our, our clutch that we're going to put on here. Our clutch is three quarters of an inch, which is about 19 millimeters. So we're gonna have to put this motor, eventually put this motor on the milling machine and cut off half a millimeter all around, which will give us about three quarters, and we'll be able to slide the clutch on. But that goes, Oy. that's going to go over here. This is three quarter inch rear axle. Da, 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 da. And as you can see, it has a keyway in it the whole length. And like that. Da, 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 da. There. Okay, that's good. That's pretty straightforward, and you can see the engine's going to have to be up high and in the middle. Here's a jack shaft kit that I bought. This will allow us to have um, step the speed down on the engine. Uh, so the engine will drive this jack shaft with the number 35 chain, and then this jack shaft will drive this rear axle with this sprocket. I believe this is a number 62. Uh, this is a Number 35 chain sprocket, it has 60 teeth, so we'll, we'll figure out how to mount this here. Probably end up right here. Mounted on that, here, well, I'll pull things out as I have them. Here's the engine plate. Um, this is something I bought, I think it was eight or nine dollars, and um, you could certainly make this yourself, but it saves you a lot of time in drilling and cutting, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll fit the engine that I have. Here are the bearings. Let's get these out. Mm -hmm. The bearings for the rear axle. And the bearings have hangers. So this will slip over the axle and then this will allow us to bolt the axle to the frame. Here are the hangers for the bearings. There's a bearing. Hanger for the bearing. There's a bearing. And then I bought a, a chunk of raw keyway. Um, this is plus-sized 
uh, so it, it actually has to be ground to fit. But when you grind it and fit it, it's going to be very tight. So I bought the, I bought what they call plus size. It's three sixteenths by a quarter inch plus size uh, keyway, and we'll use that in a, in a number of places. We'll use that here on the axles um, to get the axle to drive the rear wheel, and we'll also probably be using that on the engine. Yeah, the engine is. Uh, a little bit loose, probably a metric size. We may have to get a special key for that.